short video on fission in a nuclear reactor. Let's just recap first of all what I mean by the term fission. So your specification may say state meaning of a nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. So what we've got, we've got a neutron. Here's a stray neutron here and here's a uranium-235 nucleus. This neutron strikes it with such force that it splits it. The uh, uranium-235 comes in stable and it splits into two lighter nuclei and releases two or three neutrons. Now these emitted neutrons will then go on and split other uranium 235s, okay, and they'll split others and so on. So, what you've got is a chain reaction. Now, the thing is that this chain reaction releases huge amounts of energy. Now, the energy is exactly what we want. So, in a nuclear power station, we want these chain reactions to use loads of energy. But the thing is, we need to control it. We can't just leave it going um, at its own pace, it's got to out of control. So, we need to control it. So, how can we achieve this? Well, let's have a look at the uh, inside of a core. There's a nuclear core here. You've got cold water going in, hot water going out, you've got a steel pressure vessel containing everything, and here we've got the nuclear fuel in the core itself in these rods. So the energy for a nuclear chain reaction is used to heat water to make steam. So this water may then dry the turbines, or there could be a secondary loop um, where that water is heated to make tur um, he makes steam to make turbines. Okay, the steam drives the turbines, which in turn drives the generators, as you well know, and so makes electricity. All well and good so far. Now, in many reactors, the fuel, as we see here, is what we call uranium dioxide. It's natural uranium enriched with extra uranium-235. The fuel is in these sealed tubes, or sealed rods here. Now, to slow down this reaction, you've got lots of water. Okay? To slow down the rate of reaction, water acts as a moderator, moderates it, slowing down neutrons. But as you control the rate, we need these rods. So, control rods containing boron or cadmium can be lowered between the nuclear fuel tubes. Now what these do, they absorb, as a neutron is being given off, these boron or cadmium rods actually absorb the neutrons. If they absorb the neutrons, there will be fewer reactions and so you can control the rate of reaction. Have a, to have um, a faster rate of reaction, you can take the rods completely out and so there's nothing stopping neutrons from causing the uh, chain of reactions. You want to slow it down, you lower the rods between the uh, uranium um, caught the uranium fuels and that absorbs lots of neutrons there so it slows it right down. Now these fuel rods here must be replaced every three or four years and this is a very highly automated process. You then got to get rid of these rods and the problem is that the safe disposal of spent nuclear material is still a huge environmental problem. We haven't yet sorted out how to dispose of these rods really safely. But that gives you an idea there how we can control a nuclear reaction using these control rods. I hope you understand it. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and bye-bye for now.